Hey guys, uh, in Luna 1.2.5, UAD released the capability to quantize audio inside of Luna, uh, which is a cool feature, and uh, we're going to go over how to use that and uh, all the ins and outs of quantizing audio inside of Luna. Really quick, before we get started with this video, I just want to remind you, if you're looking for an instructor-led guided online class in Luna, uh, we have one at udemy.com. It's got over a hundred five-star reviews. It's highly rated. And uh, if you want to get a jump start on your skills in Luna and master the program, I highly recommend it. Um, it's udemy.com forward slash Luna Masterclass. There's also a link in the description below and uh, check that out and on your way down there, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks. Okay guys, so for the purpose of this uh, demo um, for Audio Quantize, I played some drums really sloppily, which by the way is really hard to do if you're a drummer because we've spent so many years trying to you know, hit everything on beat. So here's my really sloppy drum beat. Um, here we go. So yeah, you can see, um, or you can hear, um, that it's way off time. Um, you know, you can hear the metronome and you can hear the beats are way off. So, um, audio quantizing inside Luna, um, is super simple. And uh, I love it because of its simplicity and ease of use. So all you got to do is uh, go ahead. I got the beat here as an audio track. And just to maximize it a little bit. So you see this little cue here. You're just going to click on that. And that's going to bring up the quantize menu over here on the left. And right now it's set to off, right? So what you can do is um, to quantize it, you can just select a... Uh, a time division here. So right now I'm going to select uh, eighth notes. So click that and you'll see that the uh, when I click that um, you can see the audio waveform change. Let me put it back to off. You can see them changing. Right? And now when I play it with the uh, eighth note time division oh, Hold on, I have a swing on. Let me turn that off. You can hear it's a lot more on beat, right, than before. Some beats still aren't perfectly on. Um, I can change it to 16th notes. So. Um, if I really wanted to, to really lock it in, I could just change it to quarter notes, and that should be like everything would be on beat. So it's, it's not perfect, but uh, you can get it to a spot where it's, you know, at least the main beats are on point. And then what you can do, um, what you want to do in this kind of a situation, um, I would then uh, go here, click on the track and see where it says clips right here, the view. I'm going to change that to warps. So now you're going to see... And I'm just going to expand this. So now you're going to see um, the warp markers. And, and th this is what the audio quantize does, is it controls these warp markers. So what you can do, um, you can see here, let me, let me bring the quantize back up. You're going to see if I set it to off, you're going to see the, all the warp markers go away. If I set it to eighth, you're going to see those warp markers come back. And uh, what it's doing is it's snapping those warp markers to the, the time division that we've selected. The cool thing is we can adjust those. And you see, you'll see some, you see some other warp markers that haven't changed. So those are just uh, warp markers that uh, the quantize didn't touch. So that's why there's still some stuff that's still not comp perfectly uh, aligned. And we can, we can edit those ourselves manually. So... If you go up here into the grid, 
and you set that to 16, right? And then you'll see we get the grid lines. And like, for example, you can see this warp marker right here, you can see that it's not perfectly aligned to my grid. So I could just grab that one and move it over. And I can do that for, uh, you know, all these ones that aren't perfectly on. Just move them over. I don't know exactly how this is going to sound, but let's, let's mess around with it. I'm going to align all these extra ones that it didn't. Basically, so what, what that means is it, it, it uh, the quantize feature in Luna didn't detect these extra ones. It didn't know what to do with them exactly. So I'm just telling it manually here. Put these, uh, put these warp markers uh, over here. Okay. So now pretty much all my beats are lined up now. Hold on. Sorry. Whoops. Whoops. We can try changing the warp type too. Um, for for this instance, I'm going to just try lose a razor blade. See if it sounds any better. Let's try monophonic. So, um, yeah, so you can hear it's it's definitely hitting on the beats now, but it doesn't sound exactly perfect. So um, and if you have a really terrible performance like I played, um, it's not going to be perfect. Um, and, you know, in, in some cases, if I if I got a drum recording like this, <laughs> you know, sent to me, I definitely wouldn't just try to quantize it. I'd go back to the person that sent it to me and say, hey, that was a terrible performance. Please send me something better. But I played it. As, as bad as I could on purpose just to show you how to quantize this. So that's why it doesn't sound perfect. But if you have a drum performance that's just a little bit off here and there, you hit quantize, it'll lock it in the way you want it. And if it doesn't, then you go into warp mode and you edit the warps manually like you, I did here. A couple things I just wanted to add real quick. Um, so if you, uh, let's see. So if you take this... Uh, track and you set it to uh, eighth notes quantize right and you'll see a bunch of the notes are um, you know still not detected Luna didn't know exactly what to do with those um, I wanted to just let you know you can turn off quantizing so you can turn it on and turn it off like that so um, I just want to show you that you do have the option to turn it off if you don't like the way it sounds just by hitting off and the other thing is, is if um, Let's go ahead and apply it again. So I've got eighth notes. Now, if I start adding the warp markers like I was before by double clicking on them, right? Double click on, or I'm sorry, just single clicking on them, right? So I'm, I'm adding warp markers and uh, telling Luna where those should go by moving them. All right, oh, let me turn on the snap here. And uh, grabbing these and just moving them around. So, yeah. Um, I've noticed sometimes when you start making these adjustments to the warp markers, let's see. Hey, okay, there. So if you make if you make a lot of adjustments to the warp markers, sometimes when you hit off, it doesn't go back. There are a couple couple ways to resolve this is you can reapply the quantizing. So, because I've, I've made all those manual edits to the warp markers, if I reapply the quantizing like this and then hit off, then it should put those all back um, the way they were. Um, the other way you can do it is just by right-clicking on the warp markers up here. If, you, if you've if made a lot of changes and you don't like the way it sounds and you want to go back to the original, instead of just like trying to you know hit undo or go back to a bookmark. Um, what you can do is right click one of the warp markers and just click reset warps. And that'll put everything back, all, remove all the quantizing and remove all the manual warp markers that you put in there. So now it's back to the original. <laughs> terrible <laughs> performance that you had before. Okay, so I just wanted to add that in. Okay, so that's the audio quantizing feature in Luna. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.